Hi everyone, Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Amazon. So I have seen other people do videos on um, how they feel about buying from Amazon and stuff like that. Um, but we all have our own stories, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys mine. So I did my Christmas shopping this year from Amazon, and I am one of those weirdos that like to go Christmas shopping like a month or two before December even hits because I get anxiety and I just like to get it over with so I can actually enjoy the holiday and not like have to freak out during Thanksgiving and and um, during the month of December before Christmas comes about getting this person that or getting your sister that or your cousin this and that or whatever. I like to just enjoy and embrace. So anyways, needless to say, I thought Amazon's a, I thought, a good place to um, start and to shop. So I'm going to do a little bit of Amazon and eBay shopping. So I got on um, Amazon and I started shopping and I got everything done between Amazon and eBay within like one night. Like it took me a couple hours but I did it with within one night. I had the funds to do it. Me, me and my husband were having, like, we've been having good abundance with, fin with finances. Um, we're not rich uh, by any means, but we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to take the night and shop away. So I get to buying my youngest son's birth, or not birthday gifts. Um, I get to buying my youngest son's Christmas gifts. And I, I find this Cocomelon, like, laptop thing. And, um, because he's really into Cocomelon right now. And it had JJ, which is a little boy cartoon, and Cocomelon and all that. So I'm like, ooh, that's really cool. I can't wait to get that to him. I can't wait to receive that. Cool. And I click the little buy button. Okay. Here's where the problem started. And this isn't the first time this has happened to me, but I'll go into that later. So where, where it started was um, I bought it November 13th. And I kept getting payment revised. So that means that either your payment got declined or like you didn't have enough funds in your bank account or there's... Uh, other reasons from Amazon's side why that that they couldn't accept the form of payment that you're taking or something like that. There's a bunch of different reasons why it can say that. So what happened with us is that during the time we had the funds in our bank account, well, nobody told us that Amazon does not charge your credit card or gift card or net spend card or debit card until they ship the item nobody ever told tells you that so we were you know buying groceries and like um buying like laundry soap and stuff like that for our house and and whatnot and so we used the money and then we found out that because because we had money on our, our account again, but we used started using our money again because it kept saying that order re, order placed. So we thought, okay, good, they charged our card. So no, it happened again. So then we finally call them and tell them, hey, you know, we're having problems here. We keep buying this toy over and over again, and you guys keep saying payment revised. This is a problem here because, um, you know, we're trying to get our Christmas shopping done early. Um, we bought this item days ago. This is this is now November uh, 18th we're talking about. So I bought the toy very first time, November uh, 13th. We're talking about the 18th and 19th of November, and they're still not working with us and not shipping the item. So we, we, we got through the part of how we got through the part of how they don't charge the item until it's shipped. 
So we bought it again, wait for it, wait, waited for it to get shipped. They said it would take up to 24 to 48 hours. We waited that length of time. So they said that they would um, let us know if there's any other problems. And we never got notified that there was any other problems. So what do I do? I go back to the Amazon, uh, my Amazon account and click on orders to see what's going on with my orders. And it stinking said, again, payment revised. So I finally get pissed and I actually call somebody and I'm like, I, I'm like calling them. Nobody's answering, taking forever. I actually did a chat and text with somebody because I was getting tired of trying to call them. And I did get a hold of somebody on text. But they kept telling me the same thing over and over and over again that um, it takes a uh, certain amount of days, uh, 24 to 48 hours, sometimes up to 72 hours for things to get shipped and for, um, uh, you know, thing, like problems that you, complaints that you put in to be fixed. So I'm sitting here, if you count, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19, six days out after buying this toy, having issues, it's still not shipped, they're not answering phones, the customer service on the, on chat is being rude, um, they're not helping me with anything, they're just giving me the same bullshit that the last customer service person told me, that basically that I just had to wait, okay, but I think six days is enough time that should have gave them to resolve my issues, which my issue was the item wasn't being shipped. First, the item wasn't being paid for or charged for right away when it should be. When you go into a store or when you're buying an item, they should charge your card immediately. The Amazon does not do that. My second problem was nobody was answering the fucking phone. That was irritating. My third problem was every time I did talk to somebody like in a text or a chat, they were being rude and they were just giving me, giving me generic like answers. Like, you please be patient. We're really sorry for the, your inconveniences when they're obviously not. They're obviously just working people just like me and you that are fed up with a lot of people complaining. They don't personally care about what you're going through, which their job is to make you at least feel like they do care, but they they don't make you feel that way. So then here goes my another problem. So when I called again, there's this guy. Um, I am not racist. Um, I'm actually Filipino and I have a little bit of Native American um an Indian and me and uh I'm white I have um Irish and everything like I'm a mixed breed myself so I'm not talking shit about any race when I say this but the people that I was talking to had heavy accents they you couldn't understand what they were saying and this one guy sounded had a very heavy accent and he sounded very angry and very mad me and my husband, all we are trying to do is explain to him that we bought an item six days ago and that it still has not been shipped and that that is a problem because it's a it's a gift and we're waiting and um, we're, we're needing to make sure that our credit cards and debit cards and gift cards and net spend cards are getting charged so that we can regulate our funds. And we even told him that. And he started talking over my husband. So as my husband's talking, he's talking at the same time as my husband. So he interrupted my husband and, and also over-talked my husband, which was very, very rude. So um, my husband said, I need to talk to a manager. So they put him on hold for like 10 minutes, which is a very long time to be waiting. A uh, lady finally gets on the phone. She was even rude to my husband. And she was standing up for the rude employee 
that was talking over and yelling at my husband and interrupting him and was saying that there was nothing she could really do that. And my husband said, yes, there is something you could do. You could at least give us Amazon credit or promo code or something like that. So we could have, um, money, um, put on our account so we can at least have Amazon credit or something. You can do something. Now, the lady said she couldn't do that, so my husband started arguing with her more, saying, yes, you can, because it, they've act, you guys have actually done it before, which is true, because they have gave me, like, uh, $6 in Amazon credit and $14 in Amazon credit before and stuff like that because of their past mistakes that they have made. So we knew she was lying, and she wouldn't do anything more than $5 credit which didn't even co cover the price of the toy that we bought multiple times, had to keep rebuying multiple times and had to keep calling about and chatting, um, getting in the chat box with Amazon, um, an Am Amazon customer service person. So, I mean, that $5, that didn't make up for anything. I mean, what is that? That's, that's how much it costs for the shipping on some of the products on Amazon. So... I mean, all she was doing was paying for the shipping and we were still paying for our product. Like she wasn't helping with anything. So that supervisor was very, very, very rude. And she was sticking up for her, her employee when what, what happened to the times where people, uh, said customers are always right, which it still should be that way. Like whatever happened to that, like regardless of how annoying the customer may be regardless of how much you really don't care about the customer and it's not your problem if you're choosing to work somewhere and if you're choosing to work at, at Amazon then you better get ready to hear people complain and uh, not always be happy with what's going on because that's the job you chose to do customer service help people so if you're going to get in the field of helping people, then you need to fucking help people. So, um, you know, another, another, so they're, to me, their customer service is rude. They hang up on you. Um, you can't understand what they're saying sometimes because some, t some of the people have heavy, heavy accents. Again, I'm not racist. Um, sometimes they'll, I'll get like like reviews or or notes I don't really know what to say like I'll get I'll go to click on my order button and I'll see how my order's doing and it'll say order missing so they'll lose orders they'll lose your product sometimes not always but sometimes and then they'll ask if you want a refund or you know repurchase the item and so, of course, I, I always put, I want a refund because I don't like waiting when I've already been waiting for the product. So I just, in my head, I just think, okay, well then I'm, you know, if you miss you, the product's missing and you can't find it, I'm not waiting around for you guys. I'm going to get my money back and buy something, buy the same thing somewhere else where I can get it faster. Um... And then they also sell things from different companies. So you're thinking you're buying from Amazon, but better watch out and better be careful because when you're buying from Amazon, Amazon actually sells, uh, they allow other companies to sell things through their company, Amazon. So there'll be a little company that has products and then Amazon will allow that little company to sell their items. So you need to watch out because you're not, you may think, oh, I'm on Amazon, but you're not getting an Amazon product. Um, and so, and then uh, I wrote a couple things down so I could remember. Um, oh, so yeah, so so that's it basically. I mean, I I, I can't believe that you know, if someone's working in customer service, they think it's okay to interrupt somebody, to not listen to somebody and their problem, to over talk them, to hang up on them, to not make things right when that's what customer service 
uh, job is supposed to do. You're supposed to make things right. You're definitely not supposed to hang up. You're not supposed to over talk anybody and you're definitely not supposed to be rude and you're supposed to help the problem. And they did none of those. So I, you know, <laughs> pretty sad to say, but I had those. That's my opinion about Amazon. I'm entitled to opinion. I have a right to an opinion. I have freedom of speech. So I'm allowed to do all this. Um, and in my opinion, eBay and other companies have been so much better to buy for, for from Amazon because, number one, the your item with, with other companies that I've bought, bought from, your item gets paid for right, right away. You get charged right away. So you're not thinking that you paid for something and when you really didn't like Amazon does. So number one... If you go somewhere else, depending on the company, but I'm going to use eBay for an example, you get charged right away in my experience. Um, the shipping is faster and the delivery is a hell of a lot faster. Um, in my personal experience with eBay, this is my personal experience in my own opinion, they charge you and then you like basically you you get your shit delivered within like two days sometimes even the very next day it depends on who the seller is but that's just it you need to check out um the seller's reviews and stuff like that but amazon another problem with them that i have is their deliver some of the some of their delivery people they have, okay, I live in an apartment complex, a really high-end apartment complex, and I we each have our own door to enter. It's not one of those apartments where you have a hallway and you have to walk to your apartment door, and everybody has their apartment door inside. No, we have an outdoor entrance, so we have, you know, each person has their own entrance to their apartment. So my apartment is upstairs, and... uh I think a lot of the Amazon people are getting lazy and they're not wanting to walk their asses upstairs because I have specific instructions and they, they have that in the Amazon where you can write specific instructions on where you want your, your package to be placed. My specific instructions are to put them right at my front door, right on my porch at my front door and give a little knock so I can I can be aware that they're there and that something was delivered. Because I'm at home all the time because I work from home. I take care of my kids at home. And I have a little toddler I take care of even when my older kids are at school. So I'm at home working and cleaning and taking care of my toddler all day. So those are my instructions. So what do those people do they give my package to my neighbors how do I know this because one time I was really busy with my son and cleaning and I didn't hear a knock on my door but I get a notification on my email saying hey uh package delivered from Amazon uh, handed, handed to the resident. I'm sitting there thinking, what the heck handed it to the resident? I'm the resident. They never handed me any package. So I called Amazon and I said, look, this is a problem because you, there's a little note and you can look at it that says that you got the delivery, Amazon delivery people handed it to a resident. I'm the resident that lives here. My kids and my husband are gone. My husband's at work. My kids are at school. I'm the only one here with my toddler. Amazon never handed me over a package. They never handed me, gave it to me in my hand, a package. So that, that means that they probably handed it to my neighbor. Hence, I live in, a, in an apartment complex. And luckily, I have nice neighbors, so they probably looked at the label and it said uh, apartment number seven so they placed it at my door for amazon which is ridiculous 
second thing that they've done before is that our mailboxes are downstairs in a public area and they have also placed boxes in front of our mailbox. So if you know, if you live, if you've ever lived in an apartment before, there's the apartment mailboxes can be quite different sometimes. They can be in a little building. They can be outdoors. They can be like some apartments have little mailboxes right right next to their door if they're lucky. But mine doesn't. Mine's in a public area. So anybody could just come up and just grab my my purchases and steal them. So one time they put my package down by the fucking mailbox. Down by the mailboxes. So I had to call them again and say, hey, I have another problem. Um, they're not dropping uh, boxes, my items at my door. They're now, now they're not handing them to you, my neighbors anymore. They're p placing them in front of my mailboxes when they need to be bringing them to my door. You see, I think they're, I told the lady this, the customer service, I think that they're being lazy because I live upstairs and they're not wanting to walk upstairs, which is honestly the truth because they're wanting to get their job done and get things delivered and they're not wanting to take the time to walk up the steps and put it where it's supposed to be. So I'm telling the customer service lady this and she does apologize and she, but she keeps asking me two or three times, did, did you put that in the instructions? Um, can you double check for me to make sure that you have it in your instructions that you want your items at your door? I said, yes, I've, I've looked at it a thousand times. It says, please leave my packages at my front door and knock. So I know they're there. And then she looked and she said, okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I see that you wrote that here. Okay. I'll make sure that the, this doesn't happen. And I'll put a note in for the, the drive about the driver delivery, the delivery driver. And so I think they got that fixed because ever since um, I've complained about that, that hasn't been happening again. But um, that's all the problems that I've had with them. And um, this most recent one was very, very freaking annoying. Um, they just kept delaying shipping my packages. They kept delaying charging for my items being paid instead of just charging my card right away like they freaking should. So then that way people have funds in there and people might say, well, you know, you should be responsible and make sure that you, you, you have the funds in there. So whenever it does get taken out, you have money in there. No, no. A company, when you're purchasing something, should charge you when you're purchasing it. That's, that makes logic sense to me. A company shouldn't wait two or three days to charge you. Why are they doing that even? Doesn't make sense. So my review, if I had to do a five-star review, like one being the worst and um, five being the best, I would give them a one star. That's it. Because of their customer service and how rude they are. And I would also um, refer you guys to purchase your items somewhere else online and not from them. But that's my personal opinion. I gave it to you. And I will never... Well, okay, I'm not going to say never. But I will only purchase from Amazon... If it's an absolute have to. So if it's like no other place is selling something or there's nothing else I can do and Amazon's the only place that has an item that I really need to have for my family, then I'll go to them. But other than that, I'm never buying from them again if I can help it. I'm never going to. That's how crappy the customer service is and how crappy the experience that I've had is with them.
Anyways, felt good to talk about that and get that off my chest and let other people know what they might be dealing with this holiday if you're shopping on Amazon. So, um, thought I'd let you guys know, and I have, so I will be on with another life topic. Thank you.